Welcome back to my channel. My name is Carrie. If you're new, so today I'm doing a motivation clean with me. So let's go ahead and get right into the video. I'm gonna leave it all behind. Find myself, I'm gonna start with you. So in this video, I'm finally taking down all my Christmas decorations. It's very sad, but it's time. It's January, so it's time to say goodbye to all the Christmas. absolutely love these mirrors. I always get compliments on them whenever people come over. If you guys are looking for some big mirrors like these, check out IKEA. I believe they're a really good price for them. Yeah. I'm on my way now. Since I removed the Christmas centerpiece from my dining room table, I went ahead and grabbed one of my vases and I'm just going to add some florals to it. I thought it needed something extra so I went ahead and grabbed my two cylinder vases that were on my entry table and I'm going to add it to each side of this vase. If you see my previous videos, you probably noticed I no longer have my pink rug underneath my dining room table. I just no longer had any more pink in my house after I took down the Christmas decorations, and I kind of like the simplicity of it, of not having a dining room rug underneath there. I needed to go ahead and vacuum out these chairs. I try to vacuum these off pretty often because they do get hairy because of all of my animals. Especially if I have some guests coming over, I make sure I vacuum them before they come over because there's nothing worse than someone pulling out a chair and seeing clumps of hair on it. I noticed the base of this table needed a good wipe down, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done. I'm 
surround me like a borderline. Our fortress in the jungle, baby, we are right. We don't care much for people like them. We don't care much for people like them. But I lay on my mind, I'm feeling so fly up in the zone. Now on to the bedroom. I always feel like this room is the most cluttered just because it's such a small bedroom and with all the dog beds and we're so bad about just throwing our clothes on the dresser and Jared, he throws his clothes on the floor time to time so I'm going to go ahead and get this all cleaned up. clump of dust and hair that is wiped off the TV. You can tell it's been a while since I've cleaned it. Yeah, we could go for a ride. The two of us, we don't have to stop. to just leave these dog beds in front of this bed but I noticed if I put these dog beds in front of this door it just leaves us more walking room I'm just going to finish up by wiping off these windows, then we'll head into the living room. For some reason, I felt the need to show you Kita's toy at that moment. I don't know why, I just thought it was really funny whenever I was editing this video.
I'm just showing you all the dog hair that's on my couch. In these videos, it doesn't even look like they're even dirty, but in reality, they just have dog hair all over them. I'm usually pretty good about putting down one of their blankets for them to lay on, but I just forgot this day, so it just needed a very good vacuuming. Let me know in the comments below if you guys let your dogs lay on the couch or not. I know I probably shouldn't, it's probably not the best thing for my couch, but I just can't say no to them. so nervous whenever I'm filming these videos and my blinds are open that a neighbor's gonna look in and just see me cleaning and having my camera and my lights all set up and they're gonna be like what in the world is this girl doing? I'm just finishing up by spraying my air freshener in the living room and the dining room then I'm gonna start taking down the Christmas tree. So You guys caught that or not but there was one of my dog balls behind this Christmas tree and I chucked it and I'm so happy I didn't hit my camera because that would have been devastating. This was my first year with this tree and it was such a great deal, but I kind of wish I got a tree that was already pre-lit because that would have saved me so much more time. Jared and I were laughing so hard because the bottom of the tree was so wide it was really hard for him to fit through the hallway with it. As we're dancing close together, making now. to the kitchen the first thing I'm going to do is clear off all the counters no need to fight it I cannot hide it we won't regret it so come with me maybe we're meant to be a perfect melody and I don't want this moment to stop time to go home don't want this night to end yeah about time we stop pretending 
dishes to do today so I'm gonna go ahead and knock this out and then I'm gonna start wiping off those counters. Like two magnets we are drawn to each other you just know how to push all my buttons I'm just finishing up by wiping off the counters, then I'm going to wipe off the backsplash as well. I'm just going to use a glass cleaner on it. All the cleaning products I use in this video, I'll have them listed below for you guys. I noticed all my appliances needed a good cleaning, so I'm going to go ahead and wipe all of those off. I think I was a little jumbled with my cleaning today in the kitchen because after I was done with one task, I saw another thing that I needed to be done, so I jumped to that. So it was just jumping thing to thing in this kitchen. I'm just cleaning my appliances with my goo gone. I just find it makes my appliances really shiny.
I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off my chair with a disinfecting wipe. we're at the end of the video i hope you guys got some motivation from it if you guys like what you saw don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel all right have a great day bye guys